a blockchain, the definition is just a chain of blocks. That's true, but also absurd, right? For me, the checks and balances of a distributed system where different people in different ideologies control parts of the system and have to come to some consensus for changes to be enacted, I actually think that high barrier to entry is essential to a large functioning system. If you look back at something like the early days of the United States, the founding fathers constructed it in such a way that they expected only the most important laws to get through. They did not expect politicians to be full-time politicians. None of them were, right? They didn't expect all this sort of towering inferno of, of, of tiny laws, right? They expected this sort of a check and balance of power. And that's, they had come out of a totalitarian system, and so they distributed power across it so no, no one entity could get control of the others. And that's the nature of, I think, delusion, the nature of power, in that each, each entity thinks, if I can just get power completely and wipe out the other motherfuckers, everything will be great. And in fact, the exact opposite is true every single time, right? No person has the correct perspective in life. Every one of us is a point on the spear with a limited perspective. And when society is healthy, different ideologies have to contend. They might get power for a period of time, but their power is hemmed in by checks and balances. And the same thing with the blockchain is really a digital recreation of something that was analog. The constitution is an analog series of checks and balances. A blockchain, in my mind, a properly implemented one, is a distributed series of digital checks and balances. And if done correctly, you have something that's that's very powerful and only the, the things that we all really agree on get through and the other stuff falls to the wayside.